Okay, I will share my screen. So this is our program. Yesterday we were writing. In this program, uh, so in this program uh, we were actually trying to find the calls which has gone from each number. Okay, the text file for this is this one. So in that file, the calls which have gone from a particular number, we are going to find out. Same program only. I have again loaded it, and I am running it. Okay, I'll just increase the font size. okay so we had written a main program and we have also written uh, this uh, cdm main is uh, showing error why because it is uh, not imported okay the thing is uh, the package uh, it is uh, not having the uh, library so that's why it is a uh, throwing error okay anyway this is the same program which i have run that is a uh, cdr main dot uh, java okay same thing this also i can open right okay i will explain the program so in the main uh, we have a, yesterday saw like uh, we have a configuration setup and we have set up all the jar files which is cdm main jar mapper jar and reducer jar and we have also given the output class and the input key value values how it will represent it will be present and add input path and the set input path okay output path Okay, which one is your input file which is from the uh, data set and which is going to be your output file those things we have done in our parser we are actually reading the data set okay so this i will not open i will open this one actually reading the data set uh, uh, is for the ids calling number called number whatever we are representing it in that we are going to see the calling number okay uh, the number of calls happened from a particular number in the mapper program we have uh, taken the input uh, which is uh, nothing but a key which is of type we are saying long writable because the key was uh, it was a little long okay uh, it is uh, so that one we are giving it into a, a long writable type and the value we are going to say it is uh, it is a text format and the output is going to be text and the one appended to that it will be like this each number appended with a one okay so that's what we are doing it here and we write it into the context and uh, in the map reducer we are aggregating all the numbers called okay number of calls made and we are displaying the output Okay, here so uh, yesterday it was giving some problem now I will, it is not giving I have created another jar okay CDR underscore one so with that jar I started the map reduce okay Hadoop jar this is the map reduce code I have read, uh, run it is uh, uh, this file is under a package CDR one okay this uh, file which is the new one is under the package CDR one that's why if you have to give the class name we have to give cdr1 dot uh, cdr main one the class name okay package name dot class name you have to give and the main program uh, uh, sorry main data result is in the hdfs cdr dot text and the results i wanted to generate in results folder so if i start executing it it will throw error saying this already exists if you can see it here file already existed saying it's saying the results folder is already existing okay we can see that in your hdfs also uh, hadoop fs iphone ls slash so there is a results folder already okay so it will always ask expect when you are starting the map reduce job it will always expect you to give a new uh, output directory okay it will not write the files override the files in the uh, existing output directory can you can anyone tell me why it is happening like that Can anyone think of it like why it is happening likewise?
see this uh, job map reduce job will not be running in uh, i told right it will not be running in just a fraction of a seconds or like a minutes okay but it will take a long time it will take hours uh, to execute uh, to run the map reduce uh, task in huge uh, data sets okay uh, uh, you can imagine the huge amount of uh, uh, data sets are like uh, more than zettabytes or in the form of a petabytes that time it takes hours and hours to do the map reduce uh, this task will be running hours and hours okay here also if you see it uh, between uh, um, when it is uh, reaching this one right map uh, 10, uh, 10 0 percentage it is 0 percentage and it took some time right some uh, 5 to uh, some 3 4 minutes 3 4 seconds to do the mapper 100 percent and reduce 100 percent right but it will take a hours when you start to work on in a large uh, uh, data set in that time if you try to give the same output directory to a newer map reduce um, task then it gets overwritten right that's the reason in the hadoop framework they have limited that you cannot use the existing output folder okay you have to always give a new output folder otherwise it will it it will not overwrite it will not allow you only it will throw already exist okay that yes no we cannot overwrite it why because there will be jobs running okay we don't want to lose that uh, uh, output okay if we keep uh, uh, using the existing output directories then it will go and overwrite it which is not necessary which is not an which is uh, then it is of no use right people will keep uh, coming and change it you cannot see the output only that's the reason like in hadoop uh, the output directory will always be a new one okay since i have in the morning i have run it with the results directory okay uh, it has created the results in the output directory it is not again allowing me to give the same output directory okay so i have to give new output directory every time so when i start the map reduce job like this with the jar file under the package dot class name we have to give a new output jar new output file okay this is the data set file and this is the new output file i'm giving so it will start it So it is taking some time right but this is a small data set so it won't take much time but otherwise it will be showing in percent like 5 10 likewise map and reduce task like that so it is a successful result we can see the hadoop uh, uh, in the hdfs fs ls slash our directory would have been created okay the r1 result okay you can view what is there in the r1 result r1 it will have a part file okay in that part file we can view what is the results in that uh, cat part hyphen r hyphen one two three four five okay so this number 813 has made a call so for 34 times and uh, the another number had made the call so 64 times the aggregated result is shown okay is this program okay so this is about this program and there is a one other program where you can do a digit count okay i will show the program uh, that program insert um, i will extract this one i've downloaded it
digit dot or one minute i'll take this and put it in our uh, this one okay so digit okay okay this program is there this i will i have written it i will show you okay because i writing this programs every time it is taking time so what we have to write i will import that program that is in my downloads directory so that we have to put it in our workspace okay workspace is here in home nylet okay eclipse workspace is the workspace here i will put that program Okay, now data count will be there. Digit count. Digit count program is there in my workspace. So I will import it in my Eclipse. I'll import. It has come existing projects into in the general existing project into workspace. You can import it. okay so which program i will browse it from my eclipse workspace in the eclipse workspace if you can go here the digit count program i'm choosing from that open it okay and uh, i will finish is not coming it is very slow nothing is there in this okay the folder is empty it is showing somewhere it is missed i think Okay, I will show that program from a different uh, place because it is not here. Okay, you can see it from this one. Okay. You tried this program, okay? I'm not uh, doing it. I'll just show how it works. Then you can try that. Okay so in this i have this uh, digit count program okay in this uh, digit count whatever you can write your own sample file sample file saying uh, some some content it is having like um, it will all be in error statements because this is my local eclipse okay hadoop libraries are not there that's why it is throwing all errors it's okay but i'll just explain the program then you can write it so for example if you are writing in your text file anything like uh, this is data science class okay likewise if this is your uh, text in uh, any of your files like sample dot text then it, this will be read like each digit like 
the h i s everything will be uh, red, uh, red okay and that count it will give if i has occurred how many times so for that also in the digit count we have the main class as a digit count in the main class we get the instance of the configuration file you don't have to create a configuration file object directly get instance will get the configuration file okay then you are going to set the jar by class this is not mandatory set the job name okay it is for your reference you can you will set the jar by class which is the main class name digit count then after that mapper class you will write reducer class you will write then those class bar class class parts you will set it here okay then output key class which is of which format it is going to give us the output and which format it is going to give the value as the uh, key value value okay in the output and once it is completed uh, what you have to do what action has to be done during completion and the input path you are going to specify like a way uh, what is your hdfs file which it has to read an output path like where it has to write back the output okay this is going to be the standard one okay all the time then digit count mapper in the mapper class this is a little logic which will be involved the key and the value will be from your input splits okay so here it is if it is single line if you see it in our uh, if i write only single line this will be your uh, value the whole line will be a value and starting of the value is like a zero right offset it is starting from zero line so that is going to be your offset okay so that is zero is going to be a key and the value is not here not here input to the mapper class an output will be text and int writable uh, uh, output will be key, key and the value only here also int writable is the one which you are going to append it okay so what we are going in the, from the value the complete text line you are going to do a two string okay it is an object because this line is going to be considered as a text object in hadoop this i will write it here in hadoop okay this is going to be a text value output uh, value this is going to be a value that you have to do it as two strings so that you will have it in a, a string the line will be this is the data science here the line will be this is a data science class string line okay then what you are going to do each uh, line okay you are converting it to a character array okay this line not each line this line every character you will store it into a character array ch so what ch will have ch of 0 will have a t and ch of 1 will have is uh, what is h and ch of uh, uh, 2 will have is i okay likewise it will have the uh, array generated you can see you know this this each array each character will be stored in the array okay then we are going to print the array and we will check the digits of the array and we will count the digits okay so the array array is ch we are using an extended loop the array is ch that we will loop through it inside while looping through we will see that if it is greater than 48 then we are converting the value of the array into a string and we are appending it with a one into that why because see 48 digits you know like um, the digits will start from uh, a zero I mean zero to one 10 digits we are taking right 48 to 49 till 7 the 10 digits okay that it will be converted and for each uh, character we were appending it with one one in that okay that is what it is doing here since it is of type what whatever the output which we are going to generate will be of text and int writable right we have converted the line into a string here okay again we are converting each of the character into a string and uh, appending it with a one value here okay so t how many times it has occurred in this line i how many times it has occurred in this line that it will count and it will give the result okay that is what this program will do in this uh, like um, uh, if the character is greater than the 48 this is the decimal representation of the uh, characters okay if it is greater than 48 and lesser than the 50, 
57 then you will uh, make this as the value okay that value you will convert it to a string and you will append a one with that okay this one time it has occurred or two times it has occurred likewise and in the reducer what you will do reducer obviously whatever you have added you will sum it up here okay the reducer input will be the uh, one added the list okay key uh, key and the list of times then the each digit has occurred okay so the redu that will be the output for the uh, uh, mapper which is going to be the input for your reducer then there we will add one one to it i think uh, i can execute this program and show then you can see the results easily okay is the program understandable program is fine right maybe i will execute and show because i i'll take this one is the program fine no what you have to do it is going to be always the same uh, same way okay before executing this i will show another program where you can give multiple paths where is that there is one other program here we are passing you no know, in the digit count we are saying like uh, there is a only one input input path it is only one data set we are passing like a cd word counter dot text or like cdr dot text which is the value which is stored in your data set okay so it is also possible that you can pass a multiple input paths it means what do i mean is we are starting the map reduce job like this right hadoop jar um like if it is a cdr program cdr dot jar and um, what else is there then we will give the class name cdr main which is the class main class name and we will give an input path file which is nothing but from the hdfs cdr dot text and the output file into the hdfs we give results right results or output that folder which will get created every time okay this folder gets created so here we are passing only one input path right it means only one data set we are passing it it is also possible you can have multiple data sets okay like a cdr1.txt okay so in that case what we have to do is we have to add a different it means like it will uh, read the data from this text file also and do a map reduce on that and also it will read the text from data from this text also and do a map reduce on that okay so likewise there is a multiple in the program you can change it okay uh, this is the program multiple input file here actually there is a mapper and a sales uh, uh, data will be there okay so in the multiple map main where you are going to read the classes two classes which is the account class and a sales mapper class so for each of this account how this program is maybe i will run this i have not run this for a long time i am not sure whether it will work that program digit count it will work that i will run and show but here how it used to be there is there used to be two data sets i'll quickly find if i can find that well just a minute some problem is here Okay, I'll open those two small data sets. Okay. 
okay so in that uh, file uh, uh, i told like there will be two input sets okay one is uh, like a sales dot text which is containing the information about uh, the particular person making the sales and this is the account dot text okay this is like this is the uh, information about the account information about each of the individual okay he is having a standard account and when it is a creator and his id okay and what sales he has done how much the sales id and for how much price he has done the sales uh, is it visible okay i'll increase it it's visible now how much sales he has done and on what date he has done the sales so it is like two information like uh, you can remember like two tables in your databases so in, in this way also so you can also write a code to find out john allen has done uh, has done uh, the sales for how much rupees okay on this date particular date okay likewise you can run your map reduce to find the results okay say uh, the id here is 001 right you can relate this id 001 to the id of the accounts so you can think that um, uh, you uh, I mean it, it it is it may be like this that uh, the id 001 who is john allen made how many uh, sales okay how many how much of a sales he has done so 00 id has made a sales for three times okay on the date 15 mm, 2 2 4 2019 and 7 17 5 2019 so all these things how much amount totally how much amount he has made the sales of a particular product that you can get the result okay likewise you can give two input files in your map reduce job okay uh, then you can write the mapper function and reducer function for that and you can do that so one example is here uh, i will show it i will also give this problem statement to you guys you try it other if it is not working i let me know okay we will do that so when we are reading the input paths right which, which we are reading it from our when you are starting the job that is the hadoop job job with a jar file here the jar file name will be this uh, main class name right controller set anything you can give the jar file name okay like uh, multiple dot jar but the class file is the class file name then you will give sales dot txt and accounts these two files these two data set you can say you will put it in your hdfs and now i am putting it in the root directory only in the hdfs and then whatever the results you wanted you will get it in the results okay how to read these two uh, input i have written the code for sales mapper and reduce mapper okay what it is going to take it because add input path will take the input uh, format okay input file okay that is the argument of a zeros will be uh, the account mapper class and the sales mapper class we will see what is the code written in account mapper class in the account mapper class i am going to read uh, okay uh, the code under the name account type code is the id id it has containing three fields if you see the account mapper class it is containing three fields three or four fields a date i have not taken i have taken only three fields code uh, name and the access type okay so these things using the tokenizer i divide it and store it in code name and account type okay uh, so the output from this mapper account mapper what it is going to give uh, for the key one okay key one is out i have given okay for the out it is going to give the code and the account type together okay it will aggregate the code and account type together uh, output one and it will give the result okay out commas uh, code comma account type okay account type is going to be your standard account type is like a standard and account and premium okay whichever is of the type that it is going to give the result and if you go to the sales what it is going to give it is like a code comma who whatever is his uh, amount okay whatever the amount which he has uh, say so sold is any uh, product whatever the amount the person has sold the product that it will aggregate and it will give the uh, sales mapper 
so if you go to your reducer so we will we have to join both the account mapper and the sales mapper class right so here there are logic written okay output in this you will take the information from the sales and the account and it will aggregate and give the results so some logic is written in this i will share this code you see it okay if it is a standard then what we are going to aggregate it if it is a premium how we are going to aggregate it and how the for the premium what are the sales has done he has done and for the standard what are the sales he has done so that it is there i'll share this code this code um, i have not tried now it is like a last classes code other program i will run and show if this is not working you let me know okay it, it is it is to tell you that it, there are also ways that you can read multiple files it is not only and you can combine those two files and also get the output okay so have you people tried the uh, what is that a map reduce assignment because there i have given you asked you to find the for a particular date what are the um, vaccination vaccination done in which countries like that. i think it will contain indian information how many countries in for a particular date how many countries are vaccinated where where in which all the countries the vaccination have got done have you people tried the map reduce program okay start doing that okay that is an assignment okay this i will show with the digit count then we will move on to pig One minute, I will take the code. Digit count downloads. Okay, something is the
some problem it is showing I couldn't extract it here Recording is going on. Okay, I will pass this.
just started talking okay so we will see pig those two programs where i will upload it you execute and see from your end okay what is the result so pig is the another application which runs on top of the hadoop okay like map reduce underlyingly whatever the uh, uh, task or job we do with the pig will do map reduce job only okay map reduce job means it will aggregate and give the results it will create intermediate results and it will give aggregate it will give the aggregated results after the reduce the thing is pig you don't have to write the java code the java code which we are writing no uh, for that that is not required to write in uh, pig using pig okay pig uses something like pig scripts which is similar to like sql languages okay if you know sql a little then you can easily and learn pig okay so it is like an abstraction over the map reduce we will not see the jobs as tasks run or the jobs how it is started we don't have to write a map reduce the job map reduce methods or functions in pig okay using the scripts itself you can write the uh, uh, scripts just a moment okay okay in the, this was a developed as an yahoo project okay why because yahoo has developed this people who are working in yahoo they don't know much about uh, uh, javascripts or they don't want to not javascripts java they don't want to learn pig so they don't want to learn java that's the reason they uh, they were working on with something like pig latin script okay that's why they have developed this so using the pig latin script itself they have developed the this application so that they can uh, give the commands to the map reduce to do some analysis it was first released in 2008 as an app and then from yahoo and then it is uh, moved on to for the outsourcing as a top level project from 2011 2010 onwards okay it analyzes the large set of data same like this to represent them as a data flows actually it follows as some kind of a graph to represent your data uh, uh, processing data flowing what is a data flowing here means we say right in our map reduce that uh, we we are going into some transformations no in map reduce we are going through a, a set of a transformations right like a, we are completely dividing the data into a data data input splits and then uh, it is uh, divided into uh, key and the values okay this kind of a transformation is is going no? those are those things they call it as a data flows okay they form a dag graph that is a directed acyclic graph in case of a pigs to follow this uh, uh, transformation from uh, they call it man chat chat what is the can we opt to write pig instead of yes here yes you can opt to write pig you install pig application pig on hadoop then you can write pig scripts to start the same job which you are doing now okay whatever we are doing that word count and all you can do it with pig scripts itself yes java different from javascript yes this is not javascript whatever we are learning that is java language okay java com programming language itself javascript is a different which is mostly used in web applications okay a kind of a script you will uh, write it, uh, in between your uh, code okay web application code to do some certain tasks javascript is different from java okay and that is a scripting language scripting language means shell scripting and all you are saying right you will write some scripts to run some task right likewise in java uh, uh, is uh, following a object oriented approach it has given a scripting language which is a java script which shall be used in the web application development okay so pig apache pig is used for large sets of data it will have first an high level language high level language to write data analysis programs which we can call it in a pig latin so the language which it uses is the pig latin language okay pig 
it is all the uh, uh, things so whatever we are going to write using the pig latin will be called as the operators okay through them programmers can develop their own functions for reading writing and processing data there are inbuilt uh, operators available to be used okay i will tell you how what are those operators and all and you can also write your own functions okay own operators to do reading writing and the processing of the data so this is the pig it is an abstraction over the map reduce underlying you how map reduce is done in through pig that you don't have to worry about that framework takes a care but pig scripts we will only write scripts to analyze the data so like how we are writing the map reduce program that you will write it with pig scripts pig latin scripts okay the key properties are it is easy for programming you don't have to write the complex java programs but ideally you know in enterprises or all if you want to efficiency uh, and if you are to cover a large kind of a logic business logic processing then you will normally use to write a code in java only okay the java will have something like uh, other concepts also which will be more efficient than the other scripts other applications okay Okay, map reduce in Java, you will write it. Okay, uh, and if in, if it is a pig, then what are the advantages? The data transmission transformations are explicitly included as data flow sequence. Like uh, uh, I mean, aggregating the results, uh, there will be nodes and edges. Okay, uh, so nodes will be talking about the operators, operands. Okay, operands. I will tell you and then. Uh, the edges the vertices will be talking about the operands it will be like a graph we can say it the, how the flow it goes i will tell you because there will be ways like you can load the data load means how we are storing the data into our hdfs using pick you will load the data okay then you will do some operations like you can do a group by operation on the data or you can um, uh, group by is like aggregation right and you can do the before processes like a listing of the data like a limit the data and list it all those things you can do it so one one activity they will form it as a, a graph and then they will arrive at a final results which is an aggregated results okay so if you are listing the data based on particular year say for example if you have a movie data and for a particular movie how many ratings it is having then you will find the movie and the ratings okay or if the movie uh, yeah, uh, and the ratings so this will be in a one operation one operation it this will act uh, this will take place in one operation so that will be like a one edge okay then it will move to then you will do aggregation of this movie ratings like how many ratings it has got okay you will do a sum of the ratings one plus one plus one uh, then it will give three the movie has got three ratings this aggregation will be like other activity other edge okay and from uh, moving from one edge to another edge okay this is the aggregated results we wanted right so that is where the vertices vertices will come into picture so these are called the data flows so how the pig will work is it will be working as the data flow sequences in which each activity you can write a script okay which will be stored in an oper oper operant okay like uh, i will tell you what all those operands are operands are uh, and that uh, you can also filter the data using filter oper operators and all which will be formed as a graph okay we will see in detail how the graphs looks like and all later on and optimization opportunities for this uh, pig is like it focus on the semantics rather than the efficiency what it, they are saying is uh, writing the scripts semantics is the pig scripts will be very easier okay it will not uh, look on the efficiency and uh, the efficiency means how the output is uh, coming like uh, how much time you you are going to spend for the output if the large a large amount of data set the amount of time spent to arrive at the result will be very high but uh, pig doesn't care about uh, how much time if it is taking 24 hours or if it is taking 10 hours of time it mainly concentrates of how efficiently you can write this big latin scripts okay that is what they are saying it and optimize their execution automatically that's what based on how you write your scripts the efficiency will be increased
okay if you are writing so many uh, scripts to arrive at a certain uh, analysis then it will take longer time right because each script running time it will be longer so how you are going to write your scripts and the semantics matters when you are when you are thinking about the efficiency or the execution of the pig scripts okay then extensibility users can create their own functions also it is also possible uh, rather than inbuilt operators you can use your own things you can also write pig scripts using the pig latin language these scripts are internally converted into map and reduce task this is what i told this that's why we say is a pig is an abstraction abstraction in the sense this is hidden okay map reduce task how it is going to happen uh, whether we are going to write a mapper task or a reducer task that you don't have to worry about that is hidden from the uh, user okay how it is internally done it is hidden from the user okay and uh, why do we need a pig without having to uh, type a complex code in java and if you say if you if you are not worry about any any optimal results and all then you can go for pig okay uh, where programmers can perform map reduce task it also going to do map reduce only but it in easier scripts okay it also helps in reduce the length of the codes this we know it obviously when you're familiar with the sql it is easy to learn pig why they're saying pig is it is not exactly like um, uh, uh, sql scripts okay they are pig latin uh, language the thing is uh, the logic you can understand okay you can perform a joints filters ordering and all which using the scripts okay what are the concepts about joint filtering ordering and all if you know it uh, if you know sql you will know all these things right then you can arrive easily use that in your scripts okay the other language which is i which is actually using the mysql scripts itself okay it actually takes the data from the mysql and write it okay for that uh, mysql whatever you are learning that will be very useful also it offers nested data types that are missing from the map reduce such as uh, tuples bags and maps nested data types means uh, the data types okay uh, these are the complex data types right in map reduce we are seeing the data types of a text type one type like int writable integer types or long writable types right or the objects okay many uh, likewise we are seeing so the tuples the bags are not the bag is actually tuple you understand no it's a it will have a key and a value one one tuple the bag is like uh, multiple tuples together forms the bag okay map is a key value uh, the tuple is uh, like uh, you have learned in python also right it will be having a uh, tuples uh, in r programming you would have got, come across right bags are not there bags is nothing but a collection of tuples as bag we say and map is the key value pair okay tuples example we will see it while we are writing code that time we will understand it here example is not there okay this is like an introductory only session we will also install pig, pig uh, here okay pig version application in this okay so some of the example is this is the operator okay everything you will relate it with an operation okay then you are loading this this is the script one of the scripts sample scripts you are loading a file as what type okay this is this you can remember no in your mysql you will write a create a table okay a create table and the table name you will give and and that you will specify the data type okay in this data type there is a character array in pig okay likewise you can have this data type as a tuples and you can also have the data type like bags bags in the sense many elements will be inside the bag okay many tuples will be inside the bag that's what bag we will see it later on but if, how the script sample script will be this is the one like uh, you will equate it to a relation you will store it in a relation okay whatever this is the script line script line each line whichever you are writing that you will store it into a relation okay so dump the relation while you dump it it will actually start the map reduce job we will see it in example okay so till now it is fine what 
what is an it is an another application which it, which internally is going to induce the map reduce but you don't have to write the java code for this you can write two three lines of a, a script okay lines of a code to do the same analysis task which a map reduce job will do okay that is what prick and it will follow the approach of the data flows okay uh, the data flows in which it will have operators and operands and um, uh, it is a easy programming and all those things it is there underlyingly it will start the map reduce task map reduce task only why java so complex um it is not complex actually when you learn c and c plus plus java is not complex since you are learning python so you feel that java is complex java can it is um, you have to do a lot of practice how you are finding it python is it easy yeah it is easy uh, why because you don't have to apply most of the logic whatever you think it that will be provided as a function itself right that function you do it then you will get the output uh, uh, syntax i did not understand yeah underlyingly yeah syntaxes underlyingly you don't have to uh, see i'll tell you one example is like uh, i am sometimes worked in Py, uh, php okay in php also uh, see how do you split this sp uh, sp a string in a java like if you have a tokens or not you have to use a tokenizer class and uh, you have to go through next next token next token then you will store the data into a one variable likewise you will do the logic that under logic which you have to token the data we have to divide the data and store it in everything you don't have to worry about it there is something like um, explode function is there in php it will do explode okay uh, it will uh, you don't have to store it yeah underlyingly if python code also if you take there how it works is this way like uh, you will have uh, it will have a tokenizer it will divide the data and it will i mean it will divide the text and store it in each string array or each variable but that uh, logic that uh, implementation is hidden so directly they will give one function there you can give uh, which uh, is the string value you have to divide it you will give that string comma what is the delimiter delimiter here is if it is a comma then you will give comma as the delimiter that is why it is very easy so underlyingly how it is done it uh, the programming language itself no see in java they have libraries in python also they will have libraries if you go and open that libraries how a particular function works then they will have the implementation of uh, how it is uh, dividing and all those things so those are all hidden in the uh, lately coming i think python is also very old but the thing is that they have made the language in such a way like it is uh, easy to uh, you, ne you need to know like okay this method will uh, this function maybe in that it is functions right this functions will divide the strings likewise that's all but in java actually you are writing the code to divide it that string tokenizer right even if you uh, uh, that string tokenizer class also if you open and check then they will have some other implementation how it is actually happening because has to has to next token next token it goes to next right so that is why it is a little difficult that's what like um, if you go to c c and c plus plus c you have to write everything right you cannot use some methods uh, any methods and directly implement it right you have to write every code in c in a stack uh, you have a stack if you go to collections you have the ready-made stacks right I, application pro we say that apis we have how to implement a link list, how to implement, but actual implementation is hidden from you. But when you are going to write the stack in C, you will write a stack program. And then you call that method to do every time that stack functionality. Likewise, it is like a, to the granular level, not granular, 
to the low level and this is all high level that's why it is uh, practice will be uh, good okay learn java if you are going to work in java you need to practice more okay take the questions like um, if you take a topic uh, learn it and do the normal programs okay normal programs and also you have to attempt the programming mcqs okay like then you also have to write code and see nowadays those coding sites are there no you can go and take simple simple tasks and write and execute and see how your output is coming likewise okay see both are um, equally present in the market java and python okay python has become a uh, boom and uh, whoever is working on java they continue working in java then uh, uh, demand for java is also high and whoever is uh, python working on python they will ask for python also language you may be knowing it better okay okay that's why pig is a uh, pig is a uh, developer pig latin scripts is uh, used to develop a pig because yeah people doesn't want to work with uh, java okay they have uh, developed their own script uh, and they are working on that because they find this easy okay then furthermore when to use pig when not to use so if the data is completely unstructured no then uh, applying the pig uh, scripts uh, latin scripts will be not will not be giving an optimized results okay when there is a job constraints on uh, exist since pig is slower than map reduce jobs that time see these are the constraints okay then this time you will go and use the java pro java map reduce tasks huge unstructured data it will not give like a videos audios and all and then it will not give up uh, optimal results and if it is going to give a map reduce will work fast okay if it is going to uh, give a uh, output uh, i mean time constraint output see see the scripts which you write in pig will be of two three lines only two three lines or maximum of 10 lines likewise okay if they if you have a smaller data set and if it is not an unstructured data highly unstructured data then what you can do if somebody asks you to give a analysis output from your data set you can quickly write pig scripts and give a result okay but this may not be very good if time constraint is not there then you can write your map reduce job itself when perfectly optimized codes are required yeah optimized codes if you need it then you go for a, a java map reduce okay when to use pig uh, the it is time sensitive like your time is given uh, less and you wanted to quickly get the results then you go for pig scripts maybe you can think of like a smaller set of data so which it is coming from the share markets okay so it is coming in timeline then you have to uh, always work on a small set okay get the results and that will be the input to the another small sets likewise data if you are going to work then you can use the pig scripts okay processing various uh, data sources uh, that time see uh, uh, this hadoop framework it is not only like only the map reduced job from java will run i told you know it is also possible that uh, other applications also can run here okay mr they will uh, do somebody else would have connected to the hdfs because hdfs stores the data in that uh, uh, data store stored data or the data sets somebody can connect through a pig okay they would have uh, connect through the pig and start the application so multiple application if you are having it pig also works good in that okay somebody can uh, write uh, sql scripts mysql scripts okay hive to do data analysis of the data set likewise also they can do so when you wanted to have an analytical insights so then you also go for pig scripts okay then execution mode in the pig is like a local mode local mode is like a testing mode okay for a single user if you are running it the pig in local mode it will be like um, uh, in your mission only locally it will run the another one is the map reduce mode okay so pig runs in a single jvm jvm is the java which is present uses the local file system suitable for small data sets and suitable for rapid testing and development of small sets so this is like a testing mode you can launch the pig okay pig shell 
it will have a grunt shell the shell which pig if you launch pig it will have a grunt shell this shell uh, will uh, you can launch it in a local mode so that everything which is present in your local machine it will work on okay to arrive at a results it means you write the scripts to the data sets which is present locally in your machine if you are going to use the data set from the hdfs then you will use the map reduce mode that's what okay it depend uh, if depending on the your decision okay queries written in pig latin or translated into map reduce jobs here it will not go run a map reduce it will not start a map reduce map reduce means the splitting of data and uh, uh, doing a map mapping task and reducing task that will not happen in local mode whereas it will happen in the map reduce mode okay run no, no, uh, queries written in pig latin or translated into into map reduce jobs and run on hadoop cluster okay it can run uh, when you are running in hadoop cluster then you go for the map reduce mode maybe sudo or the fully distributed cluster sudo means they are saying the cluster which is maybe for used for the testing purpose not completely uh, used cluster okay then map reduce mode with a fully distributed cluster is useful for running pre gone largest set fully distributed means complete setup they are saying it see now i am actually writing running in a sudo mode only i think you people will be running in a fully distributed because you have your slaves also configured but mine slaves are configured but it is not running in slaves it is running locally only so mine is a sudo mode for the map reduce so likewise so this is the architecture so whenever you give a pig uh, scripts which is uh, like this one okay we will see that scripts which will be like this one you will yeah it is a loading loading of a data into your uh, machine okay when you give the pig scripts it will start the grunt shell okay now there will be a pig server server installed whenever you are installing pig the server will also be installed along with that then one minute it is gone then it will start the parser parser will uh, read your data okay then from the parser it goes to the optimizer and the compiler of your uh, scripts the, the scripts will be compiled if any syntax error or there it will it will throw it and then it will go to the execution engine where the scripts will execute okay that will start a map reduce job that is a uh, operator like a dump okay that dump of the relation we will give which will actually start the map reduce job okay this will be done by the execution engine okay then the map reduce job on the data only we have to do right that it will be done done so how the execution will go the pick program right it will create a logical plan and that will be converted these are the uh, graphs i told dag graphs okay that will be gone to uh, to a, a physical plan this is the transformation phase where our map phase we say no then it will do the map reduce plan and it will start the execution of the data in the hadoop okay this is like the architecture this uh, we can see it in our uh, core uh, in our pick scripts when we are running it that i will show it okay then components of the pig is like the parser parser will read your pick script and it produ produces the directed graph like uh, what is the operator and operand that it will produce the operators are like the uh, nodes operators we, i can say like uh, filtering operator filtering or joining okay we'll give some other operators so those are all will be considered as node and the data flow okay from filtering you get an output that goes to the join if you are writing your script like this then those are called the edges okay they will generate a graph like this okay uh, so you do some filter on some data and then it goes to the joining phase okay then so these are this data flow the data from the filter output from the filter data output from the filter goes to the join so this is the uh, graph this is how it generates a graph okay which is nothing but the logic uh, physical plan okay this creates a physical plan and when it goes to the optimizer this is the okay this is not a physical plan it is a logical plan okay and a, a director graph which is a logical plan and carried out on the logical optimizations it will do optimizer say in map reduce 
now engine we saw that uh, combiner as an optimizer like here uh, right like that combiner likewise optimizer is there to do the optimizations and the compiler accepts the logical plan and converts into the map reduced job the execution gets submitted to the hadoop in a sorted order okay so after the transformation if you think of in uh, map reduce there is a transformation phase and the aggregation phase so the transformation is all done over here and then it goes to your execution engine in a sorted order okay and then executes on the hadoop and produce the desired results on the hadoop means hadoop data set okay so this is how it is in the logical plan you will have the query parser in a pig um, pig application you have all these things okay uh, it you will have a we will the client will provide the scripts the scripts will be read by the parser semantic checking will happen and then a log logical plan will be created no uh, yeah and from that it goes to the map reduce there is a map reduce compiler to start the map reduce job and that will be submitted to the hdfs hdfs means to the data set okay after the map reduce job the results will be stored or, or viewed by the or given to the user okay this we will see it this is all about pig is there any doubt in this how it is uh, uh, I mean, we will do installation uh, tomorrow okay we will do pig installation tomorrow and then we will see how to write pig scripts we can say take some data sets and we will see how to work on that okay any doubts in this this graphs i will show you after writing some pig scripts how the graph is generated that i will show you yes pig runs on top of hadoop pig application needs hadoop hadoop much, uh, means here hadoop hdfs separately it won't run because pig uh, internally uh, starts map reduce hadoop with the map reduce is needed to run pig scripts only thing is you will not write the code in java you will write the code in pig scripts and it has its own architecture to uh, give the to run your processing okay only apache you know this map reduce job apache spark is the only application which may not use hadoop okay independently it, it is like an uh, uh, what it is not it will not do any map reduce it is like um, how we can say supplement or uh, substitution to the map reduce okay spark and it is also fast an enterprise can uh, by themselves can only have spark spark will also do mll okay that um, machine learning algorithm logics also it can run or normally they will have hadoop okay because hadoop gives a very nice distributed storage unit which is an hdfs okay on top of hadoop also that is which the hdfs also spark they will install and run it okay it means they will take the data set from the hadoop only uh, sorry hdfs only which is the hadoop and other application whichever we are going to see hi hbase hbase is actually a data not database database engine you can say hive application okay this is a developed by facebook okay because they wanted to write uh, scripts of uh, mysql because they don't know java you can think of like that they may not be knowing so they write they want to write uh, come up with writing their own scripts in order to run a map reduce a job okay mm, yeah, and use the data for set from the hdfs so these are all will run on top of hadoop and mr engine okay map reduce engine in python we have seen any flat file can be defined as and used as a db can that be achieved in hadoop in python we have seen any flat file uh, can be flat file is like a normal text file or something like that only no sir yes whatever we are working on okay can be used as a db means i don't understand
used as a database yeah database and <laughs> db means database i understand sir but um, what you are saying like complete fair file you can store it into the database that's what you are saying that i don't uh, that what my doubt is Is that your question, sir? Complete uh, flat file. You are storing it into the database. That's what you are saying, without any division. Instead of MySQL, yeah. Instead of MySQL, here you can use HBase, sir. Uh, flat files. Can that be achieved? See here, MySQL will not come into picture in Pig. The data which you are store, see now, now whatever we are storing, right? Those are all like flat files only. Flat file means uh, uh, it's a plain text, right? Or what other example you can say it for a flat file or like a logarithmic files, all those things are flat files. But here we don't use MySQL, right? We use the other ways to read the flat files. This flat files you are storing in, in HDFS. HDFS is an outer database. It's a distributed storage system, storage file system. Uh, can that be achieved? I don't understand your question, I think. Hadoop pig. See, uh, so the comp the word count, no, that same word count you can write it in a pig also. The the word count uh, file can be the flat file. Uh, I don't. I actually I didn't un understand your question. Okay, we explain me later. Okay, tomorrow we will do pig installation and two programs of a multiple input path and other one I will upload. I will also run it and show, okay, sometimes since I have not copied here, it is not running. I will also run and show. Okay, thank you all. We can, you can leave now. Okay, and uh, for MySQL class, it is rectified. So today class, we will continue in the afternoon, MySQL. Yeah, video issue. Yes, I will upload. I forgot. I will upload online.